Hi, this is Carl, and I just want to give you a few tips that I have learned from more than 25 years of working from home. You know, it takes a little bit of extra effort to work from home successfully. And one of the things that's going to happen when this whole crisis is over is that a lot more people are going to be working from home permanently. So here's what you need to do. First of all, you should have a nice place to work. You should have a space set aside specifically for your work. Now, you may not have the space in your house or your apartment to have a dedicated room just for work, but you should at least have a work space that isn't used for something else. In a perfect world, you won't be working at the kitchen table. I know we don't all live in a perfect world, but it would be great to have a little space where you can have a printer if you need one and a desk and a place to plug in your laptop and have access to uh, maybe a decent monitor if that's what you need. So having the right place is huge because it allows you to say, now I'm going to work. Related to that, you need to dress up, not, not fancy, but you should dress for work, which means get up in the morning, take a shower, shave whatever you shave, put on a nice shirt, you know, it could be business casual, but don't walk around in your pajamas all day or, you know, whatever else. Dress for work. I learned this literally a couple of decades ago. When I'm working from home, I put on the uniform, even if I'm never going to see anybody. So uh, just make sure that you put yourself in that frame of mind for working at home. Next big tip, stay out of the kitchen. Literally set yourself a break in the morning and the afternoon and at lunch. And other than that, don't go wandering around the house. Don't go do laundry in your spare time. Don't wander off to the kitchen. Don't nibble on stuff all day. It's very, very easy to sit in your house and then just consume things all day long. You also should not get distracted with all of the chores. You know, all your household chores have to get done. But let's be honest, you've eliminated your commute. So you've got some time at the beginning and the end of the day that's extra time. Do your chores then. Don't do your chores in the middle of the day. Separate out work from non-work. And that last point is particularly important. You need to stop working at five or six o'clock, whenever it is that it's the end of your day. This is always the case, particularly with self-employed people. We tend to work and work and work and then we go home and we work and work some more. That's never a good idea, but it's particularly bad when you work from home because you end up working 10 and 12 hour days almost by accident. Don't do that. Remember, your work habits need to be sustainable. And so if you don't get exercise and you don't take time for yourself and you don't recharge your batteries, you will burn out even if you're working from home. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of really great benefits from working at home when, when there's no big crisis going on. It means you can run errands, you can pick up the kids, you can do all kinds of other stuff that takes tiny bits of your day but doesn't take up a big major project. So that's cool. But you should also make sure that you have set yourself up to be successful working at home. And that just takes a few little rules that say, look, this is my work environment. This, when I'm in this room, when I'm sitting at this workstation, I'm working. When I take a break, then I'll go into another room. Then I will do other things. But work when you work, play when you play. Make it sustainable and with luck, you'll get to stay home more. You'll get to work more from home as long as you're effective. If you lose your effectiveness, you'll lose your right to work from home. Be as successful as you can be. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk wishing you the best of luck in your business. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified when we post a new video.